Yo, what's good everybody, it's your boy Clouds, welcome back to another random ass video, and in today's video is going to be a little bit informative, and it's going to help out a lot of potatoes out there, alright? So if you play Call of Duty, one of the most op things to use or to ever live in Call of Duty is drop shotting, okay? If you've never drop shot it before, I'm going to pretty much be showing you how to drop shot today in this video, and I will help you elevate your game to the next level to become such a beast at drop shotting in Call of Duty, alright? Now me, I like to say I'm a pro master drop shotter, I've been drop shotting for a couple of years in every single Call of Duty, except for Black ops uh, 4 because that shit did not let you drop shot in that game so that's why that game was garbage anyway so i'm gonna be showing you how to pretty much drop shot in call of duty it's simple little tips and simple little ways to become a beast and a master at this if you learn this skill you will be able to use it in every gunfight you ever get into and you would potentially never lose a gunfight all right now before i made this video i did actually get a game of 84 kills which is probably my highest i'm not gonna lie to you and i was just drop shotting after drop shotting after drop shotting dude if you want to learn how to drop shot like a beast let's get straight into this video all right so before getting into that i appreciate if y'all subscribe to the channel like the video follow all my socials if y'all want to stay in touch with me i am pretty cool and also join my discord server all right boys i make a lot of call of duty videos if y'all want to see that and yeah a lot of informative ones as well all right so let's get straight into the first very very first important step and setting that you will need to be able to become a drop shotty god like myself now what you want to do is of course go to your settings on your options and go all the way to your controller settings and you will find right here which says button layout present now this works on every call of duty okay not just specifically come out of warfare i've been playing and drop shotting on every call of duty for the longest so make sure you go to button layout and you want to make sure to have tactical okay tactical is the number one drop shotting tool you will need to become a drop shotting king if you don't know how to play tactical you're gonna have to learn how to use it because this is gonna be very helpful and it's gonna make you become a beast but if you like to melee a lot this might be harder for you okay because it does switch out your your melee button for your crouching button but yeah tactical is the most op is drop shotting like controller player you can ever use i right? so boom once you have tactical you become a beast also follow my settings these are my op settings for modern warfare there's another video for that so go check that out once you have tactical you want to make sure not to have too low a sensitivity because it will be hard for you like if somebody turns around and you're not gonna be able to drop shot them so for me six is the perfect medium is a very great for aiming and just everything in general all around those are the very first steps of becoming an mlg drop shotter king like myself as i say it in my other videos to become a drop shotter is pretty simple all right once you have your buttons on tactical as you can tell that instead of pressing b to slide you're actually pressing the right analog stick which is way easier if you just want to drop shot and run into gunfights even sliding all right that's how a lot of people just decide to slide on you instead of like running up to you and kill you you also want to learn the movements of call of duty modern warfare of course as you could tell y'all see me sliding around here like crazy i don't even know what i'm doing what you want to do is make sure that you learn the sliding okay when you slide in this game as you can see you can slide one time in the game and that's not really ideal okay you want to make sure when you slide as you can see i can slide into a gunfight and potentially lose it now what you want to do is when you slide make sure to cancel slide it if y'all don't know how to cancel slide it since y'all change your controllers to tactical make sure you slide it make sure you press on it twice okay so what i'm gonna do right here is press it twice and then boom drop shot too good once you run into somebody to drop shot you will be able to hold the right analog stick which will make it easier for drop shotting so right here i have my boy all right he's gonna be standing right there all right so let's say he's gonna run into me i'm gonna double slide cancel okay he's not there anymore but if he was there he would have been destroyed so as i can see i'm right here all right let's see i'm gonna run into this door real quick boom drop shot that's how you pretty much drop shot okay if y'all didn't know what a drop shot was that's a drop shot but yeah pretty much changing your controllers to tactical really helpful whenever you can slide cancel and then just hold it down to stay laying down it does make it harder for people to kill you so this is a very best tactic to have in gunfights this is how I pretty much win all my gunfights right here. And if you have a great class setup, you can also hip fire. You don't even really have to like aim. You could just hip fire and drop shot and it'll be even better. I will hop into a game so I can show you my drop shotting skills. This is pretty much the main settings that you would need to be able to become a drop shotting king. If you never drop shot it, I recommend that you really do it. It will be helpful and you will just nonstop like learn how to do this. Now, if it's really hard for you to learn tactical controllers, I recommend that you do go try it out in public games just by practicing. Just run around, slide a little bit, see how you get the feeling of it. Now, the only downside is you will not be able to melee too much because it's b and that'll take a long time so by the time you want to melee somebody's already destroying you so boom i'm gonna show you another tactic is just sliding like this sliding cancel and hold it down all right when y'all slide make sure y'all hold down the analog stick so you can pretty much already be on the ground and people won't even know you it's better to do that than just come over here and boom you're standing up in the middle of a gunfight and you're potentially gonna lose so what you want to do is want to slide boom stay laying down okay oh i accidentally pulled out this fat ass rpg oh i'm out of ammo that's why i'm retarded all right time to kill myself yeah, like i said all right let's see if you want to go right there make sure you come over here 
Slide, cancel, hold it down, all right? Boom, boom, boom. Your gun's already starting out. Boom, boom, boom. That's how you do it, okay? When to slide, cancel, boom, boom, boom. Destroyed. Slide, cancel, boom, boom, boom. You're destroyed. And you can also do this while hip firing. If somebody pushes you, just boom, drop shot, just boom. You could drop shot like this by crouching down while holding this, holding the shooting button instead of aiming, okay? That's how I win a lot of my gunfights. Also, when you're sliding, you can shoot. Boom, makes it way faster. And another major tip that you want to have is in this game, there is a thing called dead silence, which is like a tactical or a operator thing, I should say. So it is very important to have dead silence in this game because it does make you go faster as you can see right now have it activated so if you're running around like a beast and just sliding like crazy you're even 10 times faster than you were before boom boom i could drop shot with a rocket launcher boom boom too good i have every angle every angle i'm going now i'm just drop shotting right now but yeah dead silence just makes it way faster it gives you a little boost if you run to just run around and destroy faster so if you didn't know how to drop shot that's pretty much how you do it another best way to practice is whenever you're just aiming at somebody when you're aiming at somebody make sure to hold the analog stick down and just keep shooting okay you don't even have to worry about moving around just make sure that you're aiming and holding holding down the right analog stick i literally drop shot even when somebody's not looking at me so let's say i'm chasing somebody right here boom i'm drop shotting his ass i don't even care look at this i'm gonna drop shot my homeboy real quick i'm already out of ammo isn't that great look i'm gonna show you pretty much how to drop shot so let's say i'm gonna run into him let's say he's in here Look at that boom y'all seen that that's pretty much a mastery of doing a drop shot not saying that i'm a master at this even though i am saying it if you see somebody doing that they've been drop shotting for a couple of like months or probably already used to knowing the controls and how to drop shot so that's how you know you're pretty good at it if you mastered the drop shotting skill if you master this you will become a, such a beast dude not even a lot of people will not kill you i'm gonna hop into some couple of games to show you guys my drop shotting skills all right let's do this all right boys i've been popping off with the uzi no cap i've been trying to level it up also another great tactic is to also look at your mini map because you never know when somebody might push you or not so the mini map does save you a lot whenever you're running into gunfights and potentially drop shotting all right let's say you could be ready to drop shot somebody just because you've seen them on the mini map already you don't even have to be like scared to push anybody if you see them on the mini map it's already a perfect kill e too easy we're gonna see what type of game this is first and maybe i will potentially do some mlg drop shotting maybe i won't maybe i will sometimes i don't usually drop shot when i know it's too far away for me to drop shot then i just stand up and get the kill but if they're really close to me and i know that i can kill them with the drop shot i easily go for it look at this homeboy right here boom look i didn't even have to aim okay that's another great thing because if you aim sometimes you might mess up the drop shot then go ahead oh my god i'm too good you see that you see that it looks like these dudes were already getting destroyed another thing is when you're rushing make sure you cancel and slide and the good thing about rushing is when you're rushing when drop shotting you're already sliding into them so drop shotting just makes it even better they won't even see you on the ground they're literally gonna be thinking that you're above destroyed watch this watch this get destroyed watch this there's gonna be a sniper dude here i already know it oh yeah look at him got him i'm about to run out of ammo this is not good Oh, drop shot to get good. All right, I'm already out of ammo. I'm had to pick up an LMG, bro. If you've mastered uh, drop shotting, you you can literally drop shot with any gun you want. It don't even matter. I could drop shot with a sniper if I wanted to. Will I get a kill? Potentially not. Look at that. He's trying to use my tech to get wrecked. I got a veto right now. I'm doing pretty decent. I don't think I've gotten a veto. Oh no, dude. Yeah, bro. That's the thing. All right. If you want to start drop shotting, please do not put a sight on your gun unless it's like a red dot sight. Don't put no stupid sight on your gun. That was the most trashiest sight I've ever seen on the gun. Look at that. He tried to drop shot. I get wrecked. All right. What a veto. That's not bad. Okay. I, I usually don't go like two hammy K so whenever I'm live. If y'all want me to make a Uzi class setup, I will gladly do that. This Uzi's been like pretty freaking good. I've been destroying people like nothing with using this Uzi. Beat you at this. At this. All right. Oh my god, get wrecked, get wrecked, get wrecked. Alright, that game was already in progress, so I didn't really do too heavy. I got 15 kills, not that bad. Alright, I just joined. So I hope y'all got a little understanding of pretty much how to drop shot. Alright, I'm gonna show you a little bit more gameplay because I don't think I don't think that was good enough to show you guys. Alright, boys about to pull out the Uzi again. Alright, like I said, I won't try to make too much cuts because I want to show y'all my pure skills. None of y'all believe that I'm actually good at this game. I've been getting better, alright, I promise you. Look at that, get wrecked, kid. Let's make sure nobody's gonna come out right here. I already know there's people here. Look at that, there's a dude head glitching. Oh, that's the same dude that I killed. I don't know what I was doing. As I could tell, I just drop shot even if the dude is not even looking at me. That's just the way I like to play. Just to be cautious, all right? I ain't finna play and get turned on by a dude. Look at that. He tried to lay down and get wrecked. Do I got people even, like, saying out the messages? Because you know how you could type in the chat in this game? People always tell me, like, bro, look at this kid drop shotting. That's how much I drop shot. No cap. This is probably my only skill I ever have in Call of Duty is drop shotting. I'm not really good at jump shotting, okay? If you have an elite controller, it's probably be easier for you, no cap. But if you don't have an elite controller, you're a potato like me and just have a regular controller, then it might be harder for you. So that's why I don't really jump shot. I rarely jump shot. It really messes up my controller or it messes up, like, my game when I jump shot. Get wrecked. Oh, get wrecked. You see right there, I don't really drop shot. I don't drop shot too, too much, but I really do drop shot a lot. If I know I can kill him standing up, then I do it. Oh, that's a C4. Get wrecked. You see, he wasn't even looking at me, but I had to have, like, cautious. Super cautious of these people. Get wrecked. Oh, my God. Triple kill. Too good. 
Oh, I didn't ever see him. Give me that quad. No, dude. I'm all, oh my god. I didn't have the extendo on deck, dude. I had a veto though. I got another veto for y'all. I could have killed him. No cap. All right, now the thing that probably won't save you is if a car runs into you or a shotgun. When I say car, I don't mean literally a car. I mean like the sniper marksman rifle car. Oh my god, I didn't get to kill him. Oh, get wrecked. He tried to come back for me. What a potato. Oh my god, you see that? Get wrecked. See, if I didn't drop shot that, oh my god, I killed him too. If I didn't drop shot that, I probably wouldn't have got that kill. My veto going off right now. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see that. And this dude camping. Oh my god, I killed him. Oh my god, you're trash. Get wrecked, kid. This is a video on becoming how to how to become a beast. Oh god, that cruise missile better not come for me. No cap. And it came for me. I have spoke too soon. Look at this. Homeboy wasn't looking at me, but I still drop shot at him, all right? Gotta be cautious. Oh my god, get wrecked, kid. Oh my god, too good. Look at y'all. Get wrecked. I just came from behind y'all and clapped y'all shit. Get wrecked. 20 C4. Oh my god, I got that. Too good. Oh my god, get wrecked. You see, he didn't even know I was coming for him, boy. Oh my god, get wrecked. Fuck, I had low health. Sit down, boy. You can't come at me, boy. When it comes to a legit gunfight, I will win every time. Oh my god, get wrecked. Oh my god, get wrecked. And y'all know headshots in this game be hella cheesy. One shot to the head and you're like dead. You don't even get a chance to do anything about it. Boom, and just like that, the game is over. We took a fat victory royale. Okay, boys, I got 44 kills this time. This time I was at the top of the leaderboard, as always, as I should be. Boom, so that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope, really hope y'all did enjoy this drop shotting video. Let me know if I was any helpful to you guys and comment down below if you're a beast. Let me know if you become a drop shotting god and let me see if my tips work or not. If y'all wanna play some Modern Warfare with me, make sure to come at me and just enjoy my game. I don't really care, just add me as a friend comment leave a like down below and subscribe if you are new yeah your boys out skedaddle